Thomas, uh, you didn't just have a, a, a nice debut. You really stood out out there. And I have to ask you, these last 15, 16 weeks, how difficult has it been waiting waiting for your opportunity? Why do you think that you actually needed to get on the field in a real game to get this chance to show what you could do? Um, I think it, uh, I needed the – first, I think I needed the time in general just to help me get back in the flow of things. And I, it, it took some time for me to regain my confidence. And I'll say uh, – after the bye week is when it, it, it really started to come back and I, I started to feel like who I, I thought I was and who I am. Um, and I think once that happened, um, that's when my opportunity started to come and uh, we had some injuries go down and make sure my boy X and DHC get well soon. But uh, just that happened and it was just my time to step up and they made sure to prepare me the whole time. Tell me, you look like a veteran out there. I mean, you seem to be where you needed to be all the time. You, you were making big plays and big moments. Uh, it, does it just come naturally? Did it take you a while to get comfortable on the field? Uh, what was it like, your, your first NFL experience, primetime national TV? Everybody just kept telling me just to, to be myself and, and, and play the ball I know. So my whole thing when I went out there was just like, just go out there and do you um, and stay with good eyes and win to your leverage. And I was winning to my leverages. They tried me and I was in great position to make the play. And I just told myself, go make it. Pat Finley. You mentioned uh, you mentioned uh, it wasn't until after the bye week that things kind of started clicking. Were you doubting yourself? And, and what's it like to have self doubt, um, especially at the highest level in the world? Um, I kind of feel like it just shows that that we're all human. Um, we all go through our own battles every day um, and fight them. And my confidence wasn't where it was at to be where I wanted to be. And it kind of just starts with a, a reality check. Like you have to start with yourself before you can go anywhere else. So I was just like. Why am I not on the field? And why, what am I not doing to be able to put myself in position to move up? And I started looking. I was just like, I'm not playing the way I would want to play. I haven't showed that I'm better than anybody to do that. So I had to make sure I got to keep showing day in and day out and competing and getting better. And I felt like I did that through these last four or five weeks to, to be able to put myself in an even better position when it came to on the field. Were you asking people what you needed to do to be out there? Were you asking yourself what you needed to do to get out there? Or what were those conversations like? Um, for at first, I didn't kind of know where to start and go. Um, and then, uh, our dub, so Ronell had came up to me and just kind of just gave me some practice tips. And then from there, I just, you know, went up to uh, pace and just said like, what, what is something that you think that keep me on this team or put, put me in a better position? And he just told me just, you know, stay in your playbook and just start getting better when it comes to making plays on the ball, um, in practice. And coach Nagy had told us on defensive side of the ball on scout team start making more plays and I just start kind of making more plays, got my confidence and playing DB. If you got confidence, no matter what, you're going to make some plays. Is that unusual for a rookie to walk up to the general manager and say, tell me what I need to do to get some playing time here? Uh, it wasn't more just like tell me what I need to do to get playing time. It was more like, what do I need to do to, to make sure that I can live my dream um, and be here? Cause we, me and um, Pace have talked multiple times and, He's told me, um, I probably say we probably checked in about four or five times just this year on things I need to work on and things I need to get better at. And so now it's kind of just like a, a normal conversation. Like, what do you see now? Like, what can I do to stack and add that skill to make sure me better? Uh, and he keeps coming with more information, more film. So it's just like, I love it. He wants to see me get better and I want to see myself get better. Larry Mayer. Hey, Thomas, just going off the confidence again, you mentioned that your game changed when you got confidence in practice. An NFL debut like you had with three pass breakups, what does that do for your confidence moving forward? And what do you hope to achieve the, these last three games of the season? Um, first, I'll start. Um, the things I want to achieve these last three games is just um, go out there and and do whatever, do whatever I can to, to help the team win these last three games. I think that's the, the major focus for everybody in the building is we know we can't make the playoffs, but let's go out on top. Um, and then I'll just say, uh, just a major focus is just being able to, to just get better, 1% better every day and, and focus on that. Uh, it's kind of like very basic, but it, it works. If I get better every day, eventually I'll be in the position I want to be in. Did you ever have any doubt that you could play at this level, especially after sitting out last season and not have really not having played in a game that counted in two years? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, after I got the call um, on cut day, I, I had a lot of self-doubt. But once again, I have a very good support staff. I have very good teammates. And every single one of them just told me, like, 
your time is going to come. Uh, you young. Just do everything you can to when you actually do get that call, you take advantage of it. Because the one thing about this league is you only get one chance. So I knew that this was going to be my one chance. It's either I'm going to do what I need to do and put myself in position to do what I want to do, or I was going to go out there. And you feel me? You guys is going to bash me all the way down, and I wouldn't be right here where I'm at. Chris Emma? Thomas, when, when was that conversation with Ryan Pace, that most recent one about how you could get onto the field? And is that something like on the practice field? Or like, do you go up to his office for that? Like, how does that work? Um, the first time I actually, it was on the field and then we ended up going up to the office the next day. Um, and then after that, it would just kind of just be on the field and he'll send me a text message to be like, oh, I put this in your folder to, to watch and stuff like that. But it's just a simple conversation to just, uh, going up to him, like, what do you think I, I could work on now? Um, and at first it just started with on the field. Then it was just like, all right, now show your coaches that you feel me, you know the defense and that they can be confident in you if you get your opportunity. Uh, and just basically just making sure whenever you get your opportunity, everybody in the building feels confident that you go go out there and make plays. It the confidence from you is obvious it's clear, but like, where's your belief in terms of long-term that you can be a starting cornerback in this league? Um, uh, I've always believed and I've always believed that um, I could be a starting cornerback, but I also believe that I'm the best cornerback. Um, I have a lot to prove and I have a lot to do, but that's kind of the mindset. I, I don't train and I don't do anything to be average or to be mediocre. I want to be the best that I can possibly do. And it's a high standard that I have to set for myself, but you feel me? If I shoot for the stars, I might land on the moon. All right, we got time for a couple more quick. Uh, Dion Miller. Thomas, what can you, how can you sum up your emotions just of the last like 48 hours? I mean, you get a shot and you turn it into a spot on the active roster. Like how, how good does that feel for you? Uh, it felt really good just because just I put in all this work since I was six years old um, and just being able to see it pay off, being able to see a mission, a dream, um, I remember me uh, as a six-year-old just telling my dad, this is what I want, and him making sure to put me in position to do it. It just felt good to be able to say, I put myself in position to have the opportunity a lot of people dreamed of that they didn't even get to that point. And last one, Dan. Thomas, given how little game action you've had over the last two years because of last year and then just uh, some limited preseason action, can you just kind of describe – the juice of Monday for you, whether that's in the afternoon, all the way up through the, the time you left Soldier Field? So I'll say um, my juice has started, like, because at first I was nervous. I didn't really even tell anybody. Uh, I barely told my sister. And then, uh, and she was actually there with me. She was at the house. Uh, and I'll say it, it probably started. Then I told my dad and, and he was just excited. And I'm just like, dad, don't tell anybody. Cause like, you know, he'll tell everybody, you feel me? <laughs> go around to the whole world so I was like dad don't tell anybody and then he got excited and he told my mom and I was like you know what I'm Thomas Graham and it kind of just like from that point on just like the confidence and juice is just like you get the chance to play on Monday night football in front of the whole nation tell all your friends to everybody at the end of the day they go see it whether I tell them or not so might as well just tell them and then go out there with the confidence that I always had